Hey guys, it's Katrina, and welcome back to part two of the Modern Estate build. I hope you guys enjoyed part one, and in part two we'll be working on the upstairs and the landscaping, mostly. So, I wanted to go ahead and take this time and ask again, uh, what kind of builds you guys want to see? Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a, a little tutorial about, like, move objects and the show hidden objects and those kind of cheats, since I'd gotten a couple of questions about that. And I also want to do a build of my house that I currently live in, because I think that'd be really cool. But if you guys have any ideas, like I said uh, in part one, I'd love to hear them. I want more ideas, I want uh, new ideas and that kind of thing so I can kind of get <laughs> get an idea of what people want. I feel like I said idea like 50 times, <laughs> but yeah, no, that's what I want. I want to see what you guys want to see from me. Um, so I think I start off with the master bathroom up here and at first it looks really funny because I made it huge. Because, okay, look, it's a mansion for this, like, high-scale sim. Of course they're going to have a huge bathroom. Like, duh. <laughs> so they have this, this tub, and I end up giving, like, the toilet its own room. Because I feel like that's just something that, like, even, like, some, like, mid-scale houses have. They have their own, like, toilet room to kind of give some extra privacy or, or whatever um, to the toilet, so it made sense to kind of do that and add, um, that extra room to kind of fill up the space a little bit, and I was like, I need something else, something specific in this, in this room, and it kind of dawned on me, we have the Discover University shower, the one where you can, like, make your own shower, and this is the sim that would have, like, a double shower. Like, a his and her <laughs> shower. So, it I ended up creating that. And it looks so cool. I'm so proud of this bathroom. I never thought I'd be sitting here going like, oh, yeah, no. My favorite room in a build is a bathroom. I'm 100% saying it right now. My favorite room in this build is this bathroom. I love it. It's got that marble flooring, which I never use in a build. Um, and then the the really cool black tile on the side. It's, it's just such a cool bathroom. I love it. Um, so thank you, Discover University, for making that possible. And I ended up putting, uh, I put down the like smaller sliding doors at first. And I was, they're too small for their own good, especially with the medium wall height, which I had so I could make like the windows look really cool on the modern, on the modern build. Um, so I ended up putting the medium size sliding door, which I think usually looks kind of dumb because it's just so tall. It's awkwardly tall, but I feel like we get that with anything with like the medium and tall wall heights. <laughs> the tall wall heights are just ridiculous. They're so tall. I can't even fathom a wall that tall. <laughs> like, even in this build, I feel like the walls are so tall. Like, I'm so used to building with, like, the smaller walls. And <laughs> this was just a little weird with such a tall wall height. Whatever. <laughs> so I wanted to go ahead and remind you guys of my gallery ID. Um, like I said, it's going to be posted down below in every video, but it's Katie Mac with two K's on the end. Just wanted to remind you guys, this is up on the gallery. It's been up on the gallery since I finished it. I like to get it out as soon as possible so that people can kind of download it, enjoy it, and have fun with it. Like the moment I'm done with it, I just want to get it out. So it's been out for a little bit, but you can find it in the gallery. It's my most recent build. I haven't built anything since this. been mostly working on like editing this and that kind of thing and like my next build is not going to be going 
up on the gallery because it's just going to be that tutorial for the move objects and whatnot. So this will be um, like my most recent post for for a hot second until I build our like little little house and put it up on the gallery so that people can play in a little like cheap college rental house. <laughs> but you yeah, know, you guys can find it on the gallery. So it's Katie Mac with um, two K's on the end and it'll be listed down below so you guys can double check the spelling and all that good stuff. So <laughs> part of the reason I feel like the editing took so long is because, well, part of the reason is the videos were so long. So they took up so much space and my Mac does not have a lot of space to spare. And <laughs> neither does my iCloud. Like I thought I had more space on my iCloud, but I guess I was just fooling myself. <sighs> so I've been using this external hard drive that my boyfriend so graciously let me borrow, which is awesome. I am not complaining one bit about that. What I am complaining about is the fact that they gypped him. They gypped him so hard. He says he had bought a terabyte. And when it got shipped, it ended up being 100 gigs. And he's like, I cannot believe. <laughs> I was like, why did you send it back? It, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, no, they gypped him. So it's been kind of hard trying to, to maneuver the videos around so that we can, I, I, I can make the videos and stuff. So it's been kind of a hassle. But, moving on to even better news, I got my own external hard drive. It's two terabytes. I got it on Amazon, and it was supposed to come in tomorrow, but I got a notification this morning from Amazon, and it's coming in a day early. <laughs> Isn't that, like, the best thing when you're expecting something, like, tomorrow, and you get a notification that it ends up coming the day before? It's like a little gift. Like, I totally was just like, I'm going to get it Friday. It's going to be cool. I can record the video of um, doing the move objects cheat. And I can kind of start working on that and get it out Saturday. Um, since I plan on trying to do every other day. And I might end up moving my schedule to Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Because that kind of makes sense. Because it's kind of like an every other day situation. Um... But it kind of gives me some time to kind of relax on the weekends. Because as much as I love doing this, I don't want to burn out. I don't want to burn out. I want to keep doing this. Because I want this dream to become a reality. And that takes a lot of dedication. And it takes taking time to yourself. And that's something I don't want to, to burn out. So right now, I'm kind of still deciding on that. I, I'll probably end up switching to that, but my plan right now is to get that video out on Saturday, and then I can get the video of me doing our house on Monday, and by Monday, I will definitely have made my decision on whether I'm going to do the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or keep doing every other day. I just feel like it kind of gets all set, and it's just a little weird when I do like every other day because then I don't have like a set schedule and I kind of want to have a set schedule for you guys so you guys know when to look for my videos. I don't know. <laughs> I hope I'm making sense. I want, I just want to be predictable. And of course I probably won't have like a certain time because I'm not that predictable of a person. I try to be, but it just doesn't happen. Look, if I can get <laughs> some set days, we'll be made. <laughs> We'll be making some progress. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, uh, I'm just excited because I get it early. <laughs> I get it today instead of tomorrow. And I can start moving some stuff, which is, the I think the saddest part of this whole thing is that I had to delete my first video. And I've already had to delete the second video of my part one of this because I couldn't hold on to it because I just don't have the space. 
and I wanted to keep them because they're my first couple of videos and they're sentimental and all that jazz. I guess I think there is like a way to like download them since I have them up on my YouTube. I have to look into it so that I can have them stored somewhere because that'd be really nifty because like it's, it's sentimental. At least that first video is so sentimental. I just feel real like connected with it. I feel like I made that first step and I am real proud of myself for doing that. So on a completely different topic, <laughs> let me tell you about one of my strange addictions. <laughs> I can't think of like another one off the top of my head. Sorry, I had to shift my, I have my like knees, I have my knees up in like a crisscross applesauce kind of position because if I touch this external hard drive while I'm recording, since I'm recording on the bed, um, for some reason it's been ejecting. <laughs> I think it's because it's so cheap and they gypped him. Um, so I'm trying to like <laughs> get comfortable while not disturbing the hard drive. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. But no, my strange addiction We'll do a little segment on My Strange Addiction today. I can't, like, think of another one off the top of my head, but I'm sure I have other ones. I'll talk about them later. It'll be, like, a segment. <laughs> but let me tell you what I did yesterday. So, quarantine. You eat a lot of pizza. Hear me out. You eat a lot of pizza. <laughs> it's just... Okay, so it's a comfort food item, and it's super easy to make. Like, in the oven, or, like, if you have a toaster oven, it's super easy to make. And it tastes good, and it makes you feel good. <laughs> and it's not completely horrible for you. <laughs> so, I'm not addicted to pizza, per se. But what I am addicted to <laughs> is Papa John's garlic sauce. Sorry, <laughs> I need a moment. Okay, so that's so weird to say out loud. Papa John's garlic sauce. I'm addicted to that stuff. I really am. So what I did was yesterday I ordered a Papa John's pizza just so I could get 10 garlic sauces. <laughs> Let that sink in. I ordered a pizza just so I could... <laughs> Have someone deliver 10 garlic sauces. Cause, okay, think about it. It's really smart. <laughs> Me trying to justify my weird addiction to <laughs> Papa John's garlic sauce. Um, <laughs> I've had this addiction since I was a child. Let me tell you. I would beg to get Papa John's over other definitely probably better pizza places. Like in pizza, like, if you think about the pizza, like, Papa John's isn't bad, but, like, their crust is lacking compared to, like, other places, and they got a new crust, apparently. I ordered it. It was better than their original. <laughs> but, um, I would beg to get Papa John's because I really wanted their sauce, <laughs> which is so funny. But, yeah, no, I, I had them deliver me ten garlic sauces because... What I like to do is I have, like, the Totino's party pizzas, and, like, we have some Hot Pockets, like those pepperoni Hot Pockets, and honestly, it takes both of those things to the next level when you pack, and then you open up one of them garlic sauces and you start dipping it. Change my mind. <laughs> it's so good. It really, it, it just takes it to that next level like that stuff is already good especially for what it is like a hot pocket <laughs> a hot pocket like it it's quarantine season out here we enjoying hot pockets right now and garlic sauce is a need it's a need right now and I don't want to go into their business and bother them so I gave the t the delivery guy a really good tip for coming out in these tough times and delivering me my garlic sauce. I'm sure he thought I was crazy. 
And he brought it in a plastic bag. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, no, I got my garlic sauce. And that's my strange addiction. <laughs> Actually, so it's I'm kind of trying to fulfill like this need for junk food right now because I usually try to eat a keto diet and like to each their own I don't judge anybody who doesn't like eat a keto diet or like whatever I don't care like do what works best for you but for me what works best for me and my body is actually the keto diet my body just kind of works right on that diet and with everything that's been going on it just has not been feasible for me to eat keto right now it I can't go out to the grocery store to get fresh meat as often as I would like I don't want to put myself in that kind of situation and I feel like it's harder to get your hands on fresh meat right now and I don't have a lot of freezer space, so I can't be freezing a bunch of stuff. So I've just been like, you know what? Things will be get back to normal eventually. And I'll just go back on then. I can't beat myself up for situations that are out of my control. And just doing the best with what I'm given. At the moment, keto is not feasible. And my body is a little angry about it, but it'll be okay. A little bit of carbs is not going to hurt me. Not in the long run. Not if I keep my head on straight. But yeah, no, I usually try to eat a keto diet. I really like the keto diet, actually. I know a lot of people hate it and they don't like it. And they, um, wait, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but that's the ice cream truck. I just don't think the ice cream truck right now should be out right now. That doesn't make any sense. Why is the ice cream truck out? We're supposed to be social. That makes no sense. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm going to include that in the audio. But, you know, the ice cream truck has started going by. What the heck? Y'all, that's nuts. Why is the ice cream truck out? <sighs> Anyways, you know, I try to do the keto diet. My body feels better on it. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy the keto diet. Um, I like the food on it. I think it tastes good. I, whenever I'm on it, and I've been on it for at least a week, and the first week's the hardest is getting off of the carbs for the first week because you're addicted to them. Or at least in my case, I'm addicted to them. And every time I have a carb, even if it's just, like, a bite of rice, it starts this whole, like, relapse, dude. And I eat all the carbs. <laughs> so, but if I can get over that first week, that first hump, it's smooth sailing. The food tastes great. My tummy's happy. I feel better. I don't feel bloated. It's just an overall great feeling. If y'all are interested in trying it, do your research. Talk to your doctor. I'm not going to tell you to do something. But if you think that it'll be a good change for you, do it, dude. I Best decision I've ever made. And of course, I had, I made sure it was good with everything before I did it. I talked to my doctor and whatnot, and they thought it was a good idea. So that's what I've been doing. And it was a good idea. I really enjoy it. Definitely look into it if you've ever been thinking about doing it. I I would 100% recommend if you think it would be a good choice for you. Getting back onto a more related note, what, other than my addiction to Papa John's garlic sauce or <laughs> carbohydrates in general, um, I want to thank you guys again for all the support that I've been getting on my videos. I've been getting so much support both on the videos in the comment section and all that and privately on like my Snapchat and stuff where I've been kind of sharing a lot of my um, 
links and stuff to kind of get people who I know um, kind of coming to my channel to get some traffic in. It's just been overwhelming support and I cannot be more grateful for you guys. It's been so awesome and my channel's already doing better than I thought it would within the first um, couple of days, which is awesome. I have two videos out and I already have 10 subscribers, which doesn't seem like a lot, but whenever you're first starting out, like everything is a huge milestone. So I've already hit the milestone of getting 10 subscribers, which is awesome. And I want, I'm, I am aiming for within like a year, I want to have at least a thousand subscribers and I think that's a very doable goal for myself and I want to keep things within reach because I don't want to um like I was saying earlier I don't want to overwork myself and I don't want to get discouraged and end up quitting this because this really is one of the biggest dreams I've ever had I've always wanted to do this I've always wanted to create content and share content and be able to interact with people more on this kind of a social media platform. It's always been a big dream of mine ever since YouTube became a thing. I remember whenever YouTube first became a thing and I spent so much time on there back watching like Shane Dawson like when he was still in his like cringy phase man that a whole, it's just real reminiscent to think back on all that stuff. I don't know. I, I'm just getting real sappy, you guys. Like, I, I really am very appreciative of all the support that I've been getting from you guys. I, I cannot describe the feeling that I get whenever I just think about that. It's just so great. So thank you, guys. I really, from the bottom of my heart, I... I love that you guys are loving these videos and I'm glad that I can provide some content that you guys really like and there like I said from the beginning there's more to come I already have some plans I like I said I'd love to hear from you guys and what you guys want to see and another big shout out to Andrew for giving me this idea because I like I said I don't think I would have done this this early it was a, it was completely out of my comfort zone and I had so much fun doing it. So I want to do more things that are out of my comfort zone that you guys want to see. And I think that just asking you guys to go ahead and leave it in the comments um, section is one of the best ways for you guys to get in touch with me um, right now. And it helps, it also helps to grow my channel so I can make even better content in the future, which is what I ultimately want to do, is continue making my content better for you guys as I grow. It's one of my goals along the way. It's far off, but I am sure that I will eventually get there. But it is actually the end of the video. So you guys, this is the end of part two. So part two of two is done. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, you can go ahead and like and subscribe. And hit that bell icon and do all that good stuff. And you'll be notified when I post more videos. Alright, I, th I thank you guys so much. I love you all. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.